True story, 1976, New York. A lady wakes up in the middle of the night with the urge to go pee. Hmm, not unusual. She drags her tired body onto her toilet, where she instantly re realizes, I am not alone. And no, it wasn't a pervert lurking in the dark. You already guessed it. It was a bloody python in her toilet, in an apartment building. I read that. Reading the newspaper sitting on a toilet changed my sense of security forever. Fast forward 47 years when a subscriber innocently asks, hey, how about you make Medusa's headdress? <laughs> Not very likely my first response. But as you can see, I rose to the challenge, overcame my fear of snakes and toilets and produced Medusa's headdress and a whole bunch of other snakes. You wanna see how I did it? Keep watching. So I'm just using aluminum foil to form the body of the snake, one, two or even three layers depending on the size of the reptile you want to create. Uh, in my practice video I used cardboard and wire to form the snakes. Um, uh, it's a bit more complicated but works also. I leave a link down below in the description if you want to watch that madness. So I was actually quite uh, amazed at the pliability of the aluminum foil and I was quite easily able to shape any kind of snake. Pointer snake. I made a few strips long enough to fit around the head and uh, more to form the snake's bodies rearing up, uh, of course. I used some uh, wire and hot glue to hold the unruly bunch in place, but it didn't always work. So the snakes at this point are looking rather uninspiring. So how about making them a face? And so while we are folding, I feel I have to explain. I am learning a new editing software and my skill level is nowhere near my imagination. So this clip is rather long. And while I am talking, please do not turn off the video just yet. Hold on, because we are shaping the lower jaw. And right now, Moving on to the upper one, where we are wait for the excitement, we are folding a little bit of space here. Yes, we are moving, folding. Oh, I am sweating here. Yes, we are. Here is the eyeball. <laughs> here we go, little snake head. And now all we do is tape it onto the body. Now I have a problem though. The whole headdress is very floppy and weak. Uh, I need to give it strength, but how? Mm, I cannot cover it with paper clay. It is just too weak and it will not hold up to the wet clay. I want something that is fast also. So uh, idea, I uh, rip up some egg carton and put it in the blender and uh, blend it with water. and drain it a bit and dump it into a tray and add glue and hopefully this will work. Now this is uh, very messy so don't do that over your favorite tablecloth. So I took my um, special mix I made here and uh, gave the uh, headdress two layers of it so I just covered the whole thing. And to my surprise, it worked. Uh, it got uh, really hard and stiff, as you can see. Uh, but the headdress uh, looked a little empty, so I decided to add uh, two more snakes. And uh, I thought it might be a good idea to uh, give them a little bit more support by um, adding some wire uh, into the aluminum foil. Just a piece of wire. Just a piece of wire just before I crumbled it up. Yes, go ahead, crumble. Yeah. And then uh, I just finished it the same way with a couple of uh, layers of brush on clay. And this is actually a great idea that brush on clay, but it uh, definitely needs more work. It doesn't give enough volume. So I dis I covered everything, all the snakes. This is my pointer snake here with a thin layer of uh, my paper clay. I leave a link down below if you want to learn how to make it. And here, here they are. It turned, they turned out really well. I even added uh, some teeth and uh, yeah, now we are ready to paint.
I am quite pleased. And yes, I know, this is Snakey Mac Snake Snake from my last project, but I hardly found any footage of the painting I did, and I just wanted to show uh, how I uh, used the little nets you find your oranges or lemons in uh, to give the illusions of uh, snake skin. And here is the little footage I have. See, looks pretty cool. And then a little bit of detail work, and yay, snakes are done. So, so to wrap up this story, I thought maybe I find the 1976 toilet incidents on Google. You know, I'm thorough and just for verification. But to my horror, hundreds of pictures of snakes in toilets appeared. So there's only one conclusion I can take. Toilets are portals for snakes to travel. So I found this product, Snake Away. Only two drops will render your toilet invisible to any traveling snake for 24 hours. It's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. This is Monica from Wicked Aviary bringing you, as always, very important information. Stay safe, my friends. Until next time.